Cro- they try to force them. If you don't know who this is, now you know. British F4 racing champion. Our next award, ladies and gentlemen. Grew up between Barbados and Sweden. Yeah! Here's the man. <laughs> Raphael, thank you. I got with about three. Thank you. Now, this is no fake thing. You know, all them YouTubers on the ground, they're doing a bunch of fake S H. you're back you left me which means I'm I have the whole place myself for a month <laughs> you know what actually now that I think about it it's two months <laughs> for Christmas Carlos still status to episodio so now you're back huh you, yes. you took your son back I, I didn't leave you it was you that did not come along okay so yeah. you do you have me. any comments about the house I love this place yeah, but how's, how's it been going? It's been going good. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a lot of work, but it's been worth every single minute of yeah. it. Uh huh. Yeah, and we got great people working on this place. Oh, no. The local people up here in St. Lucie. Yeah. And they are just amazing, you know, how hard the Bajans work. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic work. Nice, nice. Uh mm-hmm. huh. Meanwhile, I, I have to, <laughs> today is hectic. I have to record a podcast now, so here you'll have a quick update. Uh, how's tour? If you send me the location, then I'll be right there. Then make I come check you, my baby. No time, no. And my dog is on probation. Another five years. We bring girls to his location. No time, no. Baby, it's where you're going for me in that location. Cause I'm watching that bumper rotating Got me mesmerized, I can't lie I feel weak when I see those eyes I feel weak when I see those eyes Tell me why you're looking so surprised, yeah I know I'm the dun da da dun da da You hit it once and you don't want no other You hit it once and you call me the father You ain't the first, I know you like the others You like the others for true You really here for the loot Don't really know what to do This thing got me fucking confused All because I asked you for the location Now four minutes to the hour of nine o'clock and we are back here on the beat 104.1 FM talking about Emerge 2020, inspiring the next generation of success stories. A one of a kind, next generation, inspirational event celebrating and awarding young Barbadians who have achieved excellence in their various fields of endeavor and creating a space where they can be inspired by these stories. Being born on a small island doesn't mean that we can't have big dreams. We're going to be hearing 
from a lot of young people who have big dreams and they're walking in those dreams. And sitting right in front of me is Victor White. Good morning. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Mom, Uncle Bentley, Kitty Mouth. I know they're <laughs> listening. How are you? I'm very well. I'm very well. It's nice to be back home in Barbados. Yeah, good to have you back. So, so that was the first interview of today with Tracy. Her boyfriend is in the band, To My Hill, and you guys know my friend Chris in the band, who's actually getting married this summer, so um, that'll be interesting. Anyhow, as I was saying, today is a hectic day. This, this whole trip is, is really hectic, to be honest. <laughs> That's the best thing about Barbados. When you're at a gas station, you don't have to fuel up your car by yourself. Just sit in the car, enjoy, wait, pay, go. I think that's the way it should be. Like, I feel like I'm in a Formula One race. Speaking of that, I'm gonna meet some very, someone very interesting on the vlog. A racer representing Barbados in F4. Can you guess who? But that's later on. Okay, busy day, back to it. Oh, wow. Guys, this is the infamous INO studio. <laughs> this is it. Guys, how are you doing? Wow! Wow! I'm here! Wow! This is you, man. Yo, this is major. Major. Okay, I, I'm gonna. Okay, okay, okay. Tune in to. Guys, I'm, I'm gonna link it down below. Um, Coffee? Yo, what's going on, man? What do you think about the podcast? What do I think about INO podcast? No, it, no, about this episode, was it, uh, was it good? Was it okay? I'm crazy talking shit, so it was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was good to be, I'm not just saying so. We I got a like, lot of entertaining content. Yes. It was nice. Yeah, it was a good conversation, man. And Mosi? Mm hmm What do you think? Um, it was good, it was a lot of interesting I heard you laughing more yeah. than once. Yeah, I laugh a lot. <laughs> um, that's way tend to do. Oh, Someone no, said I laugh like a whore. But um, <laughs> it was a lot of interesting content and a different perspective that we are not accustomed to hearing for sure. So it was definitely a great podcast. Okay. Sure. Uh, and why should my um, viewers uh, watch the I Know podcast? Uh, I Know is different. I Know is it's thought provoking. Uh, it's funny as hell. Yeah, it truly is. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's pretty much entertaining, best entertaining um, two hours that you would ever have. So mm -hmm. yeah, enjoy it. And they try to force him, first of all. <laughs> also, also, he said that there's your girls are the best girls on the planet. So all the girls that are watching us right now, it's made of big jam. Get ready. Yes, shite. Yes, yes, shite. Yes, shite. Yes, shite. Research what shite means. But that is you. No, honestly, this check is out. This is Cook Rockin' Marcus. <laughs> check out the podcast. Um, they just watch. Beep, we also, beep, we beep, also saw. Beep, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we also, we also got. I mean, um, keep it this in, we got Victor to go on a date um, live on the podcast, so you have to watch it for that. That's true. Yeah, yeah, true. that's actually kind of well. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of well. First, that's first class for sure. If you want to know first. who, you better watch the podcast. I'm not gonna say any more than that. As you can see here, the view is amazing, guys. Um, yeah, uh, this season I haven't really planned that much out. Destiny takes us, however, this is breathtaking. Green Barbados, Sherry Tree Hill, check it out. Check that out. Guys, you remember Mooney? We're back Yo, together. You know, back again. Mr. Smartass over here forgot to play for the gimbal. Shaky hands, you know. But look at this view. Oh, nice. Only we have to go and get the plate. No. Yo, the people from Barbados Shades look wicked on you, bro. Best shades in the world, right? What you got right there? Money Mooney Road for it. Barbados is the biggest bad man of them all. I mean, imagine how many hearts this island has stolen. Don't you agree, Mooney? It's true. It's true. 
My ting beauty ping ting. All right, it's a link with Mooney. It's uh, here behind the camera. Um, how much have I been sucking today? Take you can two. see literally from here. here. Take two. Take two. See your boy Victor. Once again, Barbados. Bajan mentality is hitty. <laughs> Forget everything. Lay. Oh. Forgetful. Lay. Forgetful. <laughs> I'm running Bajan time. That's, enough. That's all we need. That's all we need. Don't worry, you're going to enjoy Barbados. It's been, it's been re a really hectic couple of days and uh, we have the Emerge conference to look forward to. However, we're going to do a little quick uh, detour. Ramada Top boy with the top floor come with the canister My whole crew strapped up you can find us on Sonia Come test your waist man don't be a fool you know Top boy with the top floor Top boy with the top floor If you never know what you now know If you never know what you didn't know You on the list but you know sure you on the list, but you know, sure you frighten my niggas, take you out, bro. All I'm at your girls, and they called out the neutral. Why all your niggas say trying to find loopholes? Yeah, from time. They think that you're nice, but they know you're not innocent. Take time, you'll see my crew with me. Where yours? Not sure. Take time, maybe they'll come. <laughs> We're here. It's, it, it's always a vibe. In the people's from Barbados shop. Luxury Island. This is the main lady, the big boss. Alicia. Hi. She is such a character. I just walked in here. How they're having a blast. This is the people's from Barbados collection. Mm -hmm. Inspired by Barbados. Nice. Well, we tell a story through That's what we do. Nice. Um, so the colors of Barbados, the mm -hmm. people's from Barbados. So yeah, I see here we have yeah. Puffy. Yes. We have so Just J. The portraits, the lifestyle of Barbados. Yeah. We're it's very beautiful. understated. The mm -hmm. idea is, you know. Um, you're the most. Uh, you're, you're the most underrated uh, luxury eyewear brand in the world. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <That's true. laughs> Well, the idea is to also promote more than just the postcard image of mm -hmm. beach sun and sand. Yeah. You know, to show the real culture of Barbados through mm -hmm. Iver. That is mm -hmm. our purpose. I'm, I'm uh, extremely excited to be an, an ambassador for this. Wow, wow. Wow, these are beautiful. So that I, one is inspired by um, the bearded one, which is, oh, wow. you know, Barbados. Yeah, 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 the the tree. Yeah, the tree. yeah, So it has, if you look at the acetate, you will notice the lines, which is like the it's also stainless steel. You know what I realized? I should have worn this when I ski. Maybe I would have gone the gold. Yay! <laughs> As you know, guys, when I was in Poland, I had the people from Barbados glasses on the one me that you ski. Have here. So now yeah, you have these two. ones. Exactly. <laughs> Muni, what do you think about these shades? Yours? Yeah. Let me see them. They're nice, huh? Are they super lightweight? Yeah, they're super lightweight and nice. I need to get a pair. I'm gonna get a pair. These are, these are mine now, okay? No, 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 no. Give them back. So, guys, I'm only wearing people's from Barbados. I like, they, they are so cute. I'm not sure. Um, the glass is extremely nice. The quality is good. I've had, when was I last? Here last time. A year ago, I think. A year ago. I've been skiing in these and doing all sorts of like crazy activities. So they're basically not just function, they're just not fashion, they're mm -hmm. definitely functional. Exactly. And they're very stylish as well. So you can wear them at like classy occasions as well as like sporty. Yeah, sporty. Because they're super light and they're like nothing on the face. And you visit Barbados in every pier. Every single pier has a little tiny story. So you gotta look for it. It's very understated. <laughs> okay, no? 
more exclusive than Ray Bans. They have soul, they're tasteful, and I believe females love them. Right? Yeah. <laughs> if you saw me with these, you'd be yeah. like, take my number. Exactly. I know, I know. Yeah. You gotta be Victor, careful where you Victor, where, where's the beige in the back? Where's the beige in? Oh. Huh? Huh? <laughs> You're so chic. You're like, like the females love it. We like it though. It's nice. The girls. It's got beige in the soul. So we have um, the major event left. The reason I flew in to BIM, that's the reason I'm here, the 2020 conference, um, the Emerge 2020 conference with uh, Raphael Saul. 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 Um, yeah, so uh, I just, uh, Mooney, just rip it there. So this is it. It's time to uh, link up at the Emerge 2020 conference. And um, uh, I have the company of my dear uncle Bentley. You guys know him and my mommy. So uh, yeah, let's get it. Guys, if you don't know who this is, now you know. British F4 racing champion, representing Barbados, Mr. St. Maloney. I'm not as good as him. <laughs> no, you are. This is amazing. the future of um, motorsport, Formula so. One. In the form at the moment. Yeah, thank you very much. The last four races, um, four in a row wins, and yeah, it's just been going amazing. Everything has been coming together finally. The start of the year definitely didn't come together, but everything, pace. We'll be representing Barbados. That would be, imagine how wicked that would be. Do you think it'd be possible to have a F1 race on the island if they like rebuilt the road and like? To be honest, I think in a few years, 10, yeah. 20 years, not 20, but t around 10 years, I think it, it could be possible. Imagine like coast to coast. Okay. What an insane experience for yeah. like the drivers. Yeah, hopefully and there's a, a massive rally coming down. That would be amazing as well. Yeah. Barbadians love rallies, don't they? So yeah, yeah. WRC came down here, that would be great. Yeah, wicked. <laughs> so how are you feeling for the event, bro? Yeah, it feels great. Um, I actually only changed my flight yesterday, oh. so I'm actually not talking. I'm, I did an interview a few weeks oh, ago. Oh, okay. So, yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't get the speech ready for today. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, I feel you. And here we have Mr. Mechanic. Hiya. <laughs> how, how, is, how is it working with, with this guy? I'm hard, I'm hard to work with. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's funny. He, he, we always have a good laugh. So it? you get all this shit when he's not winning the races, or <laughs> yeah, is that how so it works? Something like that. And when he, puts and when he wins, <laughs> he takes all the glory as well, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I've had plenty of champagne sprayed over me by him. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We have Zane in the building, we have Mahalia in the building, we have my mom in the building. 
We're at the Emerge 2020 conference. It's about to go down, people. We have DJ in the building. <laughs> we have Mahalia in the building. How are you feeling? Good. How are you feeling? A good one, a good one. For me, it, it's actually not a no-brainer because coming up, even though I was singing from, tell you, Adam was a lad. I did not want to be a singer professionally. And a lot of it actually stemmed from me seeing a celebrity's life. Our next awardee, ladies and gentlemen, grew up between Barbados and Sweden. And these are facts about himself that he has shared with us this evening. So off script, I think is so amazing that a sport that no Barbadian ever possibly thought of competing in, that there's perhaps some little Barbadian girl or little Barbadian boy who got the opportunity to see. <laughs> I you know what, I'm reacting emotionally because on a recent trip to Canada, my son had the opportunity to snowboard for the first time. So now he's talking about being a snowboarding champion. I'm going to blame Victor White for that. Yeah. Perhaps take some counseling from your mom. <laughs> so I really just feel emotional about this because now Victor, because of what he's done, and he's had the opportunity to fly the blue, black, and gold in the snow, some little boy or some little girl in Barbados can now dream about being a winter sports champion. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, our next awardee is Mr. Victor White. <laughs> Thank you for an epic event. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's now your job to inspire the viewers with a nice ending. <laughs> so, guys, um, look, Victor's a testimony. We have so many other examples here. You can do it. Believe in yourself. Be disciplined. Be focused. Work harder than you ever have, and you'll achieve more than you ever have. Go out there and get it done. Perfect. You have anything to add, Miss Maloney? The real celebrity. The real <laughs> Do what he said. <laughs> Take mine. I barely drink, but you know when it comes from I'm then I'll go. Take mine. They keep on pouring, they know I'ma always go for it. Cause I'm a rude boy, nah nah nah. You got that shape like la la la. I make a scream, oh yeah, yeah, yeah.